What's going on guys? Jax the Bearded Hiker here. So let me start off by telling you this. I have had some god awful collard greens in my life. Born and raised in the south, we're really particular about our collard greens. But let me just tell you, I have cooked a mini a pot of collard greens in my life and I have the best recipe and it's going to be the best collard greens that ever graced your lips, I promise you. We're going to be doing these today in the Instant Pot. But before I even owned an Instapot, I was doing the same exact recipe in a cast iron pot. So uh, you can do these either way. Let's get started. We're going to do this. Okay, guys, decision time. I've done this both ways, and personally, it comes out awesome either way. You start out with either, we're gonna, you need a meat source for your collard greens. So I use either bacon or I use smoked ham hocks. Today, I just happen to have bacon, so that's what we're gonna use. I'm using about six slices of bacon here. All right, now, bacon, I'm using six slices. I'm just that type of person that I don't like picking a lot of bacon out of, you know, out of my greens, okay? So I'm only using six slices. I know some of my buddies will use a pound of bacon. You know who I'm talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and fry this up render some of this bacon out until it gets crispy so our bacon is all nice and crispy we're leaving the bacon in there and we're also leaving the drippings in there i have a little bit of chicken broth in here and we just want to pour a little bit a little bit of that liquid in there and just deglaze a little bit just deglaze some of that brown bits there and get all that goodness off of that chicken broth no, I just want, I, I wanted to say too is, is that on the Instant Pot you have the uh, saute setting and that's the setting that I use to uh, brown up that bacon. Okay, all right, let's move on to the next step here, guys. Okay, so before you guys start freaking out, because I know somebody is going to freak out right here. These are what we call here in the South cheater greens, okay? They're washed, they're chopped, and everything else. Now, you'll hear, hear people out there say, oh, don't use cheater greens. You know, you got to use the you know real greens that are whole and rinse them and you know salt them and whatnot. And let me just tell you this. Okay, this is what I found. And I've listen, I've cooked 50, 11 pots of greens. I do agree that you should use fresh collard greens if you can, but... The only time it really matters, in my opinion, is after the first frost, the greens, uh, the leaves of the greens become a lot more sweeter and succulent, in my opinion. But there's a small window there. Right now, it is June. You are not getting any fresh, good greens. You can grow them in the summertime, but they're not going to be that good. So, you can use these. Trust me on this, guys. Trust me. All right, so... This is a 32 ounce bag here. We're just going to be uh, using the whole bag. Now I've gotten a lot of people that said on the, you know, on my blog that they've seen these greens but they don't know what to do with them. Well, today you do, and they will all fit in this Instant Pot. This is a six quart Instant Pot. You just gotta uh, shove them down in there. All right, see, I told you they would fit. All right. Okay, next up, two cups of chicken broth going in. All right, now, I want to tell you all this, too. If you're going to be cooking these on the stove, the ingredients is going to change slightly because when you're cooking on the stove, you're going to have to use a lot more liquid. So go to my blog, thebeardedhiker.com, and you'll be able to see the proper proportions that you need to use for the stove top. Okay? So we're just going to be adding all this stuff on top. One tablespoon of red wine vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar. I've used that before. comes out great. One tablespoon of honey. And it can be a heaping if you want. A half a teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. 
and this is the time where I'm going to do a little bit of a shout out here. We're using the Bazell's Cajun Seasoning. Thank you, Papa Texas. Two teaspoons of salt and one and a half teaspoons of black pepper. Two and a half teaspoons of sugar. We're just going to kind of shake this up. It would have probably been easier or better for me to uh, put the spices in first and then pour the chicken broth over the top, but we'll work with this. It's not a big deal. All right, and also remember our bacon is on the bottom and I took out a little bit of that bacon already because I wanted to uh, put some on top here just so some of that fat will drain down into these greens. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put the lid on this. We're going to pressure it on high for 30 minutes and we're going to let the pressure come down naturally. All right, we just pulled this bad boy out, so we're going to give it a stir and incorporate all this stuff in there and fog up the lens really nice. Look at that. Look at that pot liquor right there. Oh, my goodness. So, you know what we're going to be dipping in that pot liquor? We're going to be dipping some jalapeno cornbread, and look. We got one minute and 20 seconds left. Oh, I'm going to show you what that looks like. If you're interested in this jalapeno cornbread, you can go check out the cards right there. There'll be a link to that uh, video there. Oh my God, this is going to be so delicious, guys. All right, guys, we got four seconds. Countdown, yes. Okay, timer off. Look at the, oh my goodness, look at that, guys. That is going to be fantastic. And look at what we're going to be dipping that cornbread in this pot liquor of these collard greens that we got going on here. All right, y'all can see that we have this nice crust. We've turned our cornbread over. But that's another video. We're going to taste the collard greens. You see they're still steaming. They're so hot right now. Mm. Oh my goodness. Listen, perfectly spiced, enough salt, enough pepper, it doesn't need anything. I can't wait to dip that jalapeno cheese cornbread in there. Mm. All right, guys. Collard greens in your Instant Pot. Do it.